Hello well, guys, we're going to revisit this um, tin removal again. I've had some fantastic comments coming on this one and um, uh, every one of them has got some, some great ideas. And um, Pete from PGS made a comment and I absolutely agree with him that you did the whole to act as if you were in the field but you went and used a lathe to turn up a little plug for it and, and you're absolutely right Pete. Um, if you're out in the field, you may not have access to a lathe. You've got your, your, uh, your field ute, there's, there's no lathe in the back of it. So let's look at other ways that we can we can just use common materials around that we've got. And these are some of the suggestions I've had. So um, uh, Steve Lang from um, Chuck River Machine came up with a good idea. He's got a, a needle point applicator for grease that would go down inside that and put the grease right at the base there and, and fill it back through. Um, Anthony right up in Cairns uh, said, uh, use a twist drill load the flutes up with the um, with the grease and then uh, back it out using your fingers to wipe it off as it comes back but run it in reverse and try and keep it down inside. Um, uh, Ian uh, Burton Shaw he came up with a, uh, using a football pump which would probably use if you can get the needle down inside there and Jeffson had a good one was to use soap or liquid soap inside it rather than the grease and um, I think uh, Phil from Phillips Projects had a ripper uh, for the little plug and that was to use an old o-ring and uh, gosh I know in the bottom of my um, toolbox uh, when I was on the floor you'd always have uh, the odd uh, three or four or five o-rings floating around in the bottom there that you could just snip up and uh, and, uh, and make little plugs out of but I'm going to go a little bit more crude than that I've just got a twig off one of our uh, petrostrums out the front I absolutely hate trimming petrostrums we've got it as a bit of a hedge it's like trying to cut wire. Right, we're just going to fill this up with oil again. And as I said, if we put the oil in there, we just let it run down the side. I'm trying to get air bubbles in it. As he says, that he gets an air bubble in it. I think we'll probably end up the same. I'm just going to use a, a hacksaw blade and we'll just cut a plug off that way. So I'll get back to a fresh start. I'll take an end off. So it's like cutting steel, these petrostrums. Let's see what they're like with a hedge cutter. Like I said, it's like cutting wire. And let's see if it'll work. Cut another one off and we'll try it again. Air bubble. Just gonna make sure you get those air bubbles out. Only there. All right, here we go. There she is. And well, that's it. Just using, just using bits of stick. All right. I want to have another go with the grease, but I've got a bit of an idea. I'm going to try. So I'll go and set that up now, and we'll give that a go. Potassium trees are good for something, I guess. All right. Well, I was thinking of different ways that you could use to carry this grease in. I was thinking a way to thicken it up as well, so that. Um, it, it goes in a little bit easier, you can tamp it down. I was looking at maybe mixing it with flour or graphite. Now grease is actually mixed with um, um, a powder called bentone, which is a thickening agent. I use bentone in my foundry practice when I'm making up what I call K-bond sand. But then I thought, how about we use some fibres, because geez, you've always got rags hanging off your, your work trolley or your back of your ute. So, let's cut up a heap of little fibres and let's mix that in with the grease as a thickener. And I'm just sort of hoping this is sort of going to act a bit like a sponge. And then when we put the pressure down on it, 
it's going to force the, the grease out of these fibres and then up under our pin. That may or may not work, but who knows, we've got to give it a go. I guess it was Pete from PGS who sort of sparked this second go at this. And uh, Pete's got a wonderful channel, and if you ever want to see what a true do-it-yourselfer is, he's made his own milling machine from scratch. And I think he actually used his milling machine at some stages to actually build his milling machine. I guess you could even use, um, use sawdust for this. There's all sorts of mediums you could possibly use, but let's see if this is going to work first, eh? Alright, let's mix our grease into that. Let's get really down and dirty with this, eh? I don't know if this is going to work, but... Might be wishful thinking, eh? Let's, uh, let's see if the original concept, if I can get that to work with the grease. Alright, we've got a gooey sort of a cloth ball there. I'll go and um, punch this pin back into the uh, into the hole and let's give it a go, eh? Alright, let's see how we go. Actually, maybe going to get a smaller drill, I think. Just to use that to push down. Might try a bit of Anthony Rudd's idea and push it down and then we'll draw it out. Right. Okay, we're just using the pin punch to jam that fibre in there. And it seems like it's still in the job. I feel the back pressure on it. I need a bit of a neck going with it, it's not too bad. But, uh, you can get it in there pretty quick. Alright, let's go a bit more. I'll try something a little bit different. I've just got a, if you like, a string of cloth that I've just cut out. I'm going to just soak that in um, in the grease and we'll see if we can jam that down as one piece. Yeah, cut in the single strands and then uh, cutting that with grease it's so much easier to get in there now yeah. so much quicker how about that all right so what I'd probably do next time Rather than cutting up in the fibres and mixing it, because that got a little bit hard to get in, it was so much quicker just to cut a single strip, coat that in the uh, in the grease, uh, then punch that single strip in, you can get that in a heck of a lot easier. And then with a pin punch, out she comes. So yes, grease can <laughs> remove a pin. So uh, yeah, that worked well, I'm very happy with that. Alright, well... Thanks to all those guys who made all those wonderful suggestions. That, uh, I think it was worthwhile coming back and just having a quick visit of that. So we used the oil and we used a, a twig off of a tostrum bush to make up a plunger. And that worked really well. And then we've used the grease uh, mixed with some, um, some cotton. And as I said, if we cut that into strips, fine strips, and then coat that with the grease and push that down, that does a, so much, uh, a much, much better job, much, much easier. Alright guys, well thanks for that for the second time round. Uh, I think it was worthwhile uh, just 
I guess uh, finishing that off and uh, looking at some of the other ideas that uh, some of the other commenters came up with. All right, thanks very much, guys. I really, really enjoyed that. It's uh, it's great when you get these little these little uh, challenges that you give yourself, I guess, and you get uh, you get the assistance from um, uh, from everyone who comments. So uh, thanks again, guys. All right, we'll see you soon.